Africa's rapid economic growth poses a serious energy challenge, which is compounded by increased demands of enhanced resilience and sustainability. Finding a sustainable means to meet the continent's expanding energy needs is one of the continent's primary development agenda. Africa is blessed with abundance renewable energy sources such as hydro, solar, wind, among others. However, fossil fuels remain the main source of electricity in Africa and various studies shows that this might change in the coming years as more countries are showing interest in green energy. With a population of approximately 1.2 billion people, the African continent will drive world population growth in the coming decades. Electricity supply in Africa is a challenge with about 600 million people in Africa without access to electricity, according to the International Energy Agency, rendering it vital to conjure tenable solutions for economic optimization on the continent. Renewables, as in other parts of the world, are becoming a more popular option in Africa, not just because of environmental concerns, but also because they are a more cost-effective option, reliable, and sustainable. Our video today will present the top 10 leading countries in renewable energy in Africa, based on the current International Renewable Energy Agency data. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos. So without further ado, here are the top 10 leading countries in renewable energy in Africa. Number 10, Nigeria. 2,149 megawatts installed capacity. Nigeria is blessed with rich alternative and renewable energy resources including solar, wind and hydroelectric energy, which have the potential to provide the country with enough capacity to meet the desires of both urban and rural Nigerians for full, nationwide electrification. Because demand exceeds generation, rural populations in the country have unequal access to energy service. There are fundamental impediments to the efficient execution of an orderly energy policy in Nigeria, such as inefficiencies in energy resource allocation, along with the approaching depletion of fossil fuels, thereby necessitating justifications for the country to exploit its vast natural renewable resources. However, work is needed to develop these resources. For this reason, the government expects that by 2030, renewable energies will represent 30% of the country's electricity structure. Number 9, Kenya, 2,191 megawatts installed capacity. Kenya has a relatively abundant supply of solar radiation, moderate wind speeds, hydro, and biomass energy supplies. The use of new and renewable energy sources available in Kenya is currently key for strategic planning for alternatives to fossil fuels to meet a portion of the country's energy needs. Renewable energy plays is an important role in Kenya's energy supply contributing to 62% of the total energy generation in the country. The nation's renewable portfolio is diverse and extensive, owing in part to the country's diverse climates and landscapes. Kenya, like many other African leaders in renewable energy utilization, has made a clear commitment to continue research, development, and deployment of innovative technology. According to data from the International Renewable Energy Agency, geothermal is the main source of renewable energy generation in Kenya, generating 5,000 gigawatt hours in 2020. Hydropower comes second with a total of 3,355 gigawatt hours and solar, wind and bioenergy contributing 350 gigawatt hours in the same year. Number 8, Mozambique. 2,313 megawatts installed capacity. Mozambique has the largest power generation potential in southern Africa, with 187 gigawatts of undeveloped coal, gas, wind, solar, and hydropower which accounts for around 81% of installed capacity. Natural gas and renewable energy sources are growing imperative in Mozambique's energy mix. Despite the enormous potential, insufficient transmission and distribution networks as well as an adverse market circumstance for new generation has seen only 29% of the population with access to energy. As residential consumers struggle with the current highly subsidized tariffs, the industrial and commercial segments are likely to drive demand growth. According to the solar company Scatec Solar, construction of Mozambique's first large-scale solar installation began in 2018, which is a 40-megawatt power plant near the city of Makuba, is a step in the right direction. It is estimated that once completed, the plant will generate 79 gigawatt hours of electricity per year, which can supply 175,000 homes.
Number 7, Zambia, 2538 megawatts installed capacity. Zambia is a Southern African Development Community member state, with a population of over 14 million people whose energy sector is dominated by hydropower. Electricity is primarily supplied by massive hydropower, which accounts for 99% of the country's electricity, with the remaining supplied by mini hydro and diesel facilities. The country possesses a large amount of renewable energy resources, such as hydro, biomass, solar, wind and geothermal energy, which could be harnessed for on-grid and off-grid systems. According to data from the International Energy Agency Zambia is highly dependent on hydroelectric power, generating 11,025 gigawatt hours in 2016. However, changes are taking place. In April 2019, the green energy subsidiary of Italian energy giant Enel began operating the country's first 34-megawatt solar power plant. According to Enel, once it is fully operational, the power plant's annual production will reach 70 gigawatt-hours. Number 6, Democratic Republic of the Congo, 2,773 megawatts installed capacity. The Democratic Republic of the Congo has enormous and diverse energy potential, including as renewable energy sources such as hydroelectric, biomass, solar, and geothermal power coupled with non-renewable resources such as oil, natural gas, and uranium. According to data from the International Energy Agency, the Democratic Republic of the Congo has a vast territory and the largest source of renewable energy is hydropower, which generated 9,099 gigawatts hours in 2018 alone. The United States Agency for International Development stated that the country can install up to 100,000 megawatts of hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power currently accounts for 96% of domestic electricity output, with the Inga 1 and Inga 2 dams in Congo Central Province generating the majority of it. Despite the fact that Inga 1 and 2 have a combined installed capacity of 1,775 megawatts, the facility only produces a fraction of that due to decades of neglect and postponed maintenance. Number 5, Morocco, 3,272 megawatts installed capacity. Morocco has been working on an ambitious renewable energy program since 2009, with the objective of maximizing renewable energy's contribution of the national energy network to 42% by the end of 2021 and 52% by 2030. Morocco has risen to a dominant renewable energy leader on the market in North Africa and African continent as a whole. The kingdom is well positioned to realize its objective of becoming a true energy hub, thanks to its fortunate geographic location with access to the Mediterranean and the lengthy Atlantic coastline. The nation has the largest concentrating solar park on the planet in the Nur Complex Solar Power Plant, per the International Energy Agency demonstrates massive ambition and expertise in technological capabilities. Siemens reports the nation to own a plethora of wind farms across its borders, including the 300 megawatts Tarfaya facility on the southwest coast, which can power 1.5 million homes. Number 4, Angola, 3,460 megawatts installed capacity. Angola's access to clean, modern, and reliable energy still remains low at 40%, 69% in urban areas, and only 6% in rural areas. The government of Angola plans to provide electricity to 60% of the population by 2025 as part of its long-term development strategy, where renewable energy will account for 70% of installed capacity in the country. Hydropower has a great potential and estimated at 18.2 gigawatts, however only 20% of it is currently used. In 2017, power generation from this source reached 4.95 terawatt hour. Per data from the International Hydropower Association, the country could be a major force in hydropower if appropriate measures are engaged. Number 3, Ethiopia. 4,451 megawatts installed capacity. Ethiopia has significant renewable energy resources that can help it achieve its goal of countrywide electrification. Despite all of its potential, the country's energy sector is still in its infancy. 
The majority of Ethiopians live in rural areas where they have no access to modern energy and must rely on traditional biomass energy sources even as the nation has one of the lowest per capita electricity usage rates in Africa. The nation aims to leverage its considerable untapped renewable energy potential, not just to meet internal demand, but also to become a regional exporter and contribute to alleviating East Africa's electricity access deficit. To reduce the burden of its high sovereign debt levels, the government has taken significant steps since 2017 to attract private sector investment into the power sector, to support its ambitious pipeline of renewable power projects, and is actively shifting from public generation investments to independent power producer projects. According to ARENA data, Ethiopia has a capacity of over 4,000 megawatts, ranking third in renewable energy capacity in Africa. Number 2, Egypt, 5,939 megawatts installed capacity. Egypt has a lot of land, bright weather, and strong wind speeds, therefore it's a great place for renewable energy installations. The market for renewable energy equipment has the potential to be worth billions of dollars. The Egyptian government recognizes the importance of a sustainable energy mix in order to meet rising demand, while also transitioning to a more environmentally sustainable and diverse electrical industry. According to a report by ARENA, by 2030 Egypt can use renewable energy to supply 53% of its electricity mix. The importance of renewable energy is emphasized in the 2035 Integrated Sustainable Energy Strategy, where the nation aims to increase the percentage of electricity generated from renewable sources to 20% by 2022 and 42% by 2035, with wind power accounting for 14%, hydro power 2%, photovoltaic 22%, and concentrating solar power 3%. The majority of this capacity is projected to come from the private sector which builds on earlier policies. Number 1, South Africa, 8,011 megawatts installed capacity. The government of South Africa launched a scheme 10 years ago to allow for the purchase of renewable energy from companies that are not exclusive electricity suppliers in the country, a scheme known as the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Program known as the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Program. Over $13 billion in private cash has been invested in the development and operation of 77 solar and wind farms, contributing to over 5,000 megawatts of generation capacity to the country's already overburdened national grid. South Africa, according to ARENA, is a continental leader in terms of renewable energy capacity. It is home to many solar power plants, including the 96-megawatt Jasper Power Plant, a photovoltaic installation with 325,360 panels that can power 80,000 homes. According to data from the Global Wind Energy Council, in terms of wind power, South Africa's onshore installed capacity reached 2,085 megawatts in 2018. The South African Wind Energy Association stated that wind power accounts for 52% of the country's renewable energy supply, while the average size of South African wind power installations is 93.5 megawatts. South Africa is predicted to add about 40% of Africa's solar energy by 2030. So there you have it. Those are the top leading countries in renewable energy in Africa. Do you know about other countries, which wasn't on our list? Share this information in our comment section. If you enjoyed this video and want more definitive information about mega projects and trends in Africa, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.